Swinburne University of Technology. I'm Professor Andrew Scoley. I'm Director of Swinburne University's Centre for Human Psychopharmacology. Swinburne University have invested a huge amount in, in this fantastic um, ATC building, the, the Advanced Technology Centre, um, including a, a suite of dedicated laboratories for ourselves for cognitive testing, which is um, computerised testing of things like memory and attention. Uh, we also have medical facilities for co-monitoring things like um, cardiovascular function uh, and also doing bioassays, so measuring various blood-borne markers of, for example, stress or absorbance of some of the, um, some of the substances we're giving people. We have one of the few centres actually in the world which has um, both uh, fMRI, so functional magnetic resonance Im imaging, and MEG, which means we can do extremely sophisticated experiments looking at the ways in which um, certain substances, when they're ingested, how they affect brain function and how they interact with behavioural function. So one example of a, 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 I think a success story, would be looking at the, the herb sage. So SAGE has a long history of use as a cognitive enhancer. I've been involved in several studies which have shown that SAGE can improve memory, and that went from um, the first into human studies, demonstrating this uh, in, in three separate studies. That culminated in a, a study which is unpublished as yet, which is showing that uh, SAGE can improve cognitive function, or appears to improve cognitive function, in Alzheimer's disease. Well, we have a very thriving research community. We have um, about 40 staff. We've got half a dozen postdocs. We have a great many research assistants and about 20 PhD students, and they all get down very well. It's an extremely exciting area of research as well. It's, it's cutting edge. It's slightly outside of the mainstream of, uh, of medicine and psychology, and I think that's, that's quite attractive to, to certain people. We are running cognitive trials for industry partners, not just in Australia, but also big companies from Europe and the US. One thing I'm very proud of is that within a year of coming into existence, we've published um, over 50 articles in high-impact journals and attracted over a million dollars in research funding. This has been a Swinburne production.